love this time of day. I love this time of year. It's like spring is here. A time of growing, a time of revealing in the glory of what God can do when you wait upon Him through the winters that you've gone through. When you notice the sunrise and the light that comes upon the plants as they begin to blossom in their season and in their time. Having the right amount of water, being planted in the right place, you watch as the blossoms spring forth, as the world itself transforms itself into something that God intended it to be. I like to see that. I enjoy it, you know. I like to watch and see what God can do with things that might look like weeds or might not look so pretty from one person's point of view. But from another person's point of view, a gardener would look at and cut and plan and prune and place in strategic areas the places and the things that he wants to grow. And I think of God that way when it comes to you and I. I think and I see and I consider well the things that God has done in my life. And I realize that I'm a planting of the Lord, that God has caused my life to bloom and to blossom, even as I've developed over the years the good graces that God has placed inside me for the foundation of my life. He's put down deep roots in the Word of God. He's caused my life to stock up into the things of experience that have prepared me for the life and ways that God has intended. Wow to bring into my life. Oh, it's beautiful. They're white, um, either egrets or storks, just three of them, and it was like beautiful. And when I see things like that, when God brings those things to my awareness in the morning, when I stop to meditate, to look, to realize, to have God take my eyes and use them to see what He's doing by His Spirit, to influence the things I can see by the things I can't see, then I can't help but praise and give glory to God for the day that He has made. Because I begin to realize that there's more to the day than just the sunrise. There's more to this life than the things I can see. There's something happening behind the scenes that's greater than I am, that's bigger than I am, that is going to incorporate all of my day today. It's going to be moving in a way that I cannot see or I understand completely, but that somehow it's going to affect me greatly and dramatically. Even as much as the light, when I watch it just shine upon one of these plants, just, just one plant, kind of like these tomato plants back here. I mean, they were like this big. Well, they were like this big. They were a tiny seed. But these guys back here, you can't see it, but if I could point my finger, if you could follow it, right there. It's a baby tomato. Now, that little baby tomato, little tiny thing, isn't going to stay a baby tomato. It's going to go boom, and it's going to be I love tomatoes. It's going to be a big tomato. Well, it might be a cherry tomato. That's good, too. And so, one of the things that the light does to my tomato plants is immediately they respond. They're like, and they bend towards it. They follow the light, wherever the light is. And I see that in life, you know, that God wants to make us like plants, not exactly the same as, but to be taking lessons from them as we can see the nature they are of. Even as a planting or as a gardener, so arranges his garden so that he would have all the spices at one end, that when the wind blows, he could, oh, wow and they blow upon his garden and it causes the smell and the aroma to come upon them and to recognize, oh wow, that's beautiful. Or to see the color differentiations that we place in our gardens or even the fruits that we grow in order to eat them. It's not all about going into a grocery store, you know, and seeing them all arranged in a neat row. That's nice too. But you see, a grocery store is a lot like religion. It's kind of like you can see them all nice and neat in a row, but you know what? <laughs> They do some away too, you know, and we don't do that. You see, one of the things that God can do is that in the midst of His garden, 
everything seems to grow. Everything seems to blossom. Everything seems to develop. And God just grows it up. And it's amazing what God can do. It's no wonder that people have mistaken God's creation for God at times. It's beautiful. But you know, it's nothing compared to the mindset of the person that's behind what made it. I think of how great our God is. I think of my father and I think, whoa. Wow. He made this. Wow. And he comes to me in the morning to enjoy it with me? Huh. Imagine that. God, who created the entire universe, comes to me to spend some time in the morning. Almost makes me want to cry. To think of someone so big, so great, so magnificent, he's willing to spend time with me. Wow. That amazes me. And you know, that's what God wants to do with you. No matter what your circumstances are, if you get up early enough and you watch the sunrise, if you get up way before dark, you know, while it's still dark, and you spend some time with God, He'll meet you where you are. And He'll show you things you never would have imagined. Things that will happen all around you. Things that will happen to you. Things that will happen with you. That God Almighty, the King of the Universe, the Master of everything, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings, you know, greater than Jesus even, His Father. But Jesus too will meet with you. But the point being is that Jesus said He wanted to introduce us to His Father. So at some point in time, you know, learn about Jesus, yes. Keep growing in the knowledge of Jesus Christ and the Savior as He's given us His salvation and He's provided a way for us to know Him in a more intimate, personal way than we've ever known before. But also, don't mistake who else is waiting to spend time with you. Don't mistake what God, the Son, has said to us, that we can know the Father as intimately as we can know the Son. So get to know your Father in heaven. Enjoy His presence. Watch for His unmistaken tokens of love and affection for you. Because I will tell you this, that if you'll meet with Him, He will send some messenger to you to speak directly to you personally and intimately in a way you've never thought of before.